said that I was not going to stop making fashion videos and I have not made one in a very long time, but today is a fashion video. So today I'm cleaning out my closet. If you have been following me for the past two, three years I've been on YouTube and my blog, I wear black head to toe every single day. Um, my closet is a bunch of neutrals and basics and no color except for this yellow button up right here. I'm getting really bored with all of this. I need to revamp my wardrobe because I've been wearing the same thing and the same silhouette and the same color for the past three years and I'm getting extremely bored. Today I'm going to be cleaning out my closet and my drawers. I'm going to make a pile of keep and go. The go pile is going to Plato's Closet where hopefully I get some money back for everything that I bring to them. And then I'm going to go shopping online, some in store shopping, and I will do a little haul for you guys at the end of this video and show you guys everything that I got for the school year and for the fall time. I'm really excited to do this video. Uh, I've been thinking about it for a while. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Get some tips from how to clean out everything and totally make your wardrobe brand new, and let's get started. The first and most important step is to turn on some music because this could take a while. The first part, which is what you're watching right now, is my closet cleanse where I make three piles, keep, go, and recycle. So the first pile is the clothes that I kept. The second pile are the clothes I took to Plato's Closet and they gave me money back for the clothes they wanted. And the third pile, which I don't show, was all the clothes that were damaged or stained or had signs of wear and tear. And I take those clothes to H&M where they recycle the clothing and in return you get a coupon used towards your next purchase. For the rest of part one, I also explain how I get inspired using Pinterest and Tumblr and Instagram and I make mood boards, all that fun stuff. So keep watching and part two is my fall clothing haul which is at the end of this video. The first step was cleaning out my closet and the next step is getting inspired for trends and colors, silhouettes, patterns textures, whatever I want to wear that season, and I like to pull images from Vogue, fashion blogs, Instagram, Pinterest, Tumblr, and pin them to a mood board that I created on my Pinterest account. For my mood board, I was definitely pulling a lot of photos that had layering going on. I absolutely love layering during the fall time, keeping nice, toasty, and warm, but it always looks effortless, and it's just my go-to. So like a flannel or chambray shirt layered with a cable knit sweater and a leather jacket or denim jacket. And then for color, a lot of neutrals, warm toned colors and jewel tones like navy, emerald green, maroon, and that beautiful mustard yellow that's like one of my favorite colors to wear during the fall time. And for material and fabrics and texture, I love suede and leather, especially since the 70s trend is still going strong this season. I love that button front suede skirt and a lot of denim. just. I wear denim every single day, so that's like a go-to for me. Also, a lot of hats and a lot of like thick cable knit beanies. I definitely want to incorporate those into my look this season. After the mood board is complete, I feel like I got inspired and I have a good idea of what I'm looking for for that season. It's all fun from there. The shopping begins. So I personally like shopping online than in store, and I have a few favorite sites that I like shopping at, which I will link down below. And I'm also one to impulse buy and then just return things, so it's best for me to shop strategically and plan things out. Um, but that's just how it works for me. So I usually make another board on Pinterest. I name it Fall 2015 Must Haves or Spring if it's that season. And I just start pinning some of my favorite pieces from my favorite online sites like ASOS or Mango, Need Supply Co. I'm also really liking Hot Look lately because you get great deals on designer stuff. Uh, Soul Society, Vans, Converse, Steve Madden, those are some of my favorites. I will again link them down below if you want to check them out. So after you feel like you've rounded up all the items you want for that season, it's time to commit and make some final purchases. For me, I feel like I found a lot of great items for this season and I can't wait to show you guys what I found in the next clip. 
the part of the video where I'm gonna do a haul for you guys and show you everything that I purchased for this fall. I got color and different silhouettes and texture and I'm going out of my comfort zone of that head to toe black basic jeans and t-shirt thing that I was doing last year. And I just wasn't feeling myself and I'm so excited because I'll have new outfits for the blog and new how to style videos for you guys. So we're first gonna start off with H&M. The first thing is a skirt, which I have not worn a skirt in a very long time besides maxi skirts because I don't know why, but I actually really like it. It's very 70s-esque, but I'm going to be dressing it up in a very modern way, so this will definitely be making an appearance in a how to style video. It's like this faux suede camel color material, and it's got some brass buttons down the center, and then it has a zipper in the back and some pockets, which I really like. If I can stick my hand in it. I have been one of those girls that loves the way crop tops look, but has never purchased one for herself. So I purchased a couple. I'm going to give it a try this season, and I'm kind of loving it. So I got this long sleeve crop top, and it's black and white, and it has this asymmetrical detailing on the front. And I think this will look really cute layered with a leather jacket and some harem pants and like flats or converse or something like that. So love this. Then I got this crop top, which is a green sweater. And I tried this on with the suede skirt and I look like a Girl Scout. So that's why I said I'm going to show you guys how to like style that skirt and not look like a Girl Scout because I totally did that. I wasn't a fan. So we're going to make it more modern. But this looks really cute layered with other things like high waisted jeans. And then got this gray thermal crop top it's also long sleeve because it gets really cold here in the city and if I'm gonna be showing like skin here I at least want to be warm on my arms and like not totally I don't know if I'm making any sense but I like this it's really cute it's very casual but again layered with like a denim jacket or leather jacket it's gonna look so cute and then I picked up this little black dress because every girl needs a little black dress and it has this beautiful texture on the fabric which I don't know if you guys can see because it's black and my camera, oh you guys can actually see it. I just really like the way this fit If you find a little black dress that just fits you like a glove you need to get it because you'll wear it hundreds of times like I can dress this up or I can dress it down. I honestly tried this next dress on in black, I really liked it, I really wanted it in black but I got green to add some color back into my life. It's just a basic H&M dress. It's a crew neck, short sleeve. It's super long. It hits probably a little bit below the knee, which I really like because paired with slip-on leather loafers or Converse, it's like very edgy downtown urban. Um, but you can also dress this up with a pair of heels. So this is really cute. It's a really nice fabric. It's like really nice quality for H&M. And lastly, I got these suede Marcella wine colored jeans from H&M. They're slim fit and I think they'll look really cute with a pair of black boots and a turtleneck sweater. So that's everything from H&M. Next is Express and I've honestly never purchased anything from there before. But they had really cute stuff this season. So I picked up a few pieces like this blouse. I really like this blouse because I can like dress it down with a pair of boyfriend jeans or dress it up with a skirt and I actually have an internship interview tomorrow so I might wear this. You guys might recognize this top because I wore it in a vlog but it's just a long sleeve high low top and it has these really unique cutouts right here on the neckline which is why I got it. I was almost guilty for this dress too because I tried it on in black but I got it in this really pretty wine color. It's a nice jersey stretch fabric. It's got a v-neck and long sleeves so it's appropriate for the winter time. Then I found these super comfy harem pants and I really like this pair compared to the ones I was going to get at H&M. I think because they're from Express they do look a little bit more clean and professional so I can wear these for a presentation for class or wear them to an internship or I can just lounge in these like in a sweater and flats. And the final thing that I got from Express is this black pleated skirt and it just has some brass buttons and some pockets and I was originally going to get this in a very deep caramel color which I thought would be perfect for the fall time but I feel with the black I can pair it with a lot more in my wardrobe. I did order a few things from ASOS but I only kept two things like this sleeveless high neck bodysuit which I really like tucked into like a skirt or jeans and it's just very slim fit and very like seamless. But the reason why I got this is because it has a huge cutout in the back, which is like a really nice surprise. Also from ASOS, I picked up a pair of my favorite jeans. They're high-waisted black skinny jeans. They're really nice quality and they're super inexpensive, so I'll link them down below with everything else that I've shown in this video. This is from Zara and it's from their Trafalic Outerwear Collection and it's a rain jacket. And compared to the other rain jackets I've been looking at, I really like this one because it doesn't look like your typical rain jacket and it has some trench coat detailing on the back. Super cute for a rainy day. 
I also picked up this navy blue flannel from Zara and today I'm wearing it around my waist like so. So I came across this crazy deal at Zoomies on Vans and I picked up two pairs. The first pair are these perforated leather slip-ons which I've been eyeing for months and they look really good with boyfriend jeans. I was even wearing them today with skinny jeans and this white tee and then I have a flannel wrapped around my waist as you guys just saw in some previous clips. Um, but yeah, these are awesome. And then of course, typical Miranda is gonna get skate highs in black but the girl that worked at Zoomies sold me on these. These are half suede and half canvas. They are insanely comfortable and I think they are perfect for fall time. With a new wardrobe change, I thought it was time to change up my makeup routine and so I picked up the new Naked Smoky palette and I really, I really like this palette. Out of all the Naked palettes, this one is probably my favorite and it just has a bunch of cool colors in it. Today I'm wearing um, these two which is Dirty Sweet and Radar. So that is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a little different from what I normally do, but I'm going to continue doing fashion videos because I just took a little break. I've missed it though. And I'm going to continue also doing fitness videos. I'm going to combine the both because I love both and I can't just put one on the back burner because I end up missing it so much. And so my channel is just going to be both fitness and fashion and lifestyle. And let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye loves.